Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance of the U.S. and Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for the Texas flag. Honor, Honor the, the Texas, Texas flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. May you please remain standing for a moment of silence. You now be, be seated. Good morning, Donna North High School. My name is Bernadette Gossides, and I have Jonathan Shershan here with me to say the morning announcements. Welcome to another fabulous day here at Donna North High School. For the past three days, we have had benchmarks with uh, freshmen, Algebra 1 and Biology, Jonathan. And then yesterday, we had U.S. History. How did your U.S. History test go? It was pretty good. It turned out very well. Okay, excellent. Um, so we're real proud of you students for all of the hard work that you've done so far. Thank you, teachers, for the amazing work you've done up to, to, to today, and also um, thank you for all of the testing that you have done. I know that it can become tedious, but remember, we don't do this every single day, but you did an excellent job. I appreciate those of you that showed up on time, that were here every single day at your post where you needed to be. You are amazing, so I appreciate that in you. Um, today is Thursday, Jonathan. Wow. Monday I was hoping it was going to be Friday already, but no, I love being here at Donna North High School. But today is Thursday the 22nd. It is my grandbaby Elijah John Gossett's birthday. So I wanted to wish him a happy birthday. He is six years old today, and he's really excited because he's going to have an emoji birthday party this weekend. So I'll be off tomorrow afternoon after work, off to Aransas Pass to his birthday party on Saturday. So um, it is Thursday, February the 22nd, like I said, and what is it, even or odd? It's going to be an odd day. It's going to be an odd day. Okay. So on behalf of Coach Alvarado and Coach De Leon, we would like to congratulate Jamara Ruiz for being selected as part of the All-District Defensive Team and receiving first team All-District selection. She, was a, she is a very good um, basketball player. Jamara, congratulations. You really put it all out there on the court when I would see you at the games. Brianna Palomares receiving second team all district, another very good, you know, uh, basketball player. All district selection, Eleni Cavazos, Callie Contreras, and Diane De Leon for receiving honorable mention. Congratulations, girls. You did an amazing job this year in basketball. You really raised up the bar. Um, even though you fell short of going into district playoffs, you gave it your all. And thank you, Coach Alvarado and Coach De Leon, for your hard work. Um, the wrestling team will be competing at Houston in the UIL Wrestling State Championship. Um, the girls, Feralina Fer Alegria and Luisa Mendoza, will be going to the state play playoffs. Um, so, congratulations, girls. This Friday, February the 24th, our Donna North High School Mariachi Azteca will be rep will be representing us at the 2018 UIL State Mariachi Festival to be held at the Performing Arts at UTRGV in Edinburgh. They are scheduled to perform at 9.30 a.m. Adult admission is $15 and students will be charged $10. If you can't make it in person, the event will be live streamed on www.uiltexas.org. Uh, slash music slash box five media. So that would be a very interesting. I'll send out the, the, the website to the teachers today. And we would like to congratulate the Chiefs varsity baseball team for a convincing 14 0 win over PSJ Southwest in the opener on Monday. Ryan Pequeño threw a no hitter while striking out six batters. Amazing, Ryan. Congratulations. Jerry Sanchez, Joey Ramirez, and Luciano Isaguirre led at 16-hit attack on, Javali, on Javelina pitching. The Chiefs will participate in the Port Isabel Baseball Tournament starting Thursday morning, which is today. Coach Rodriguez and the rest of the baseball staff are extremely proud of the way the boys play. Great job, Chiefs. No excuses, just results. 
Well, good morning, guys. Seniors, remember, your, make sure you check your name in front of the cafeteria right next to the elevators because this name will be going on your diploma. If you do need to change it, bring a uh, birth certificate to the registrar's office and all the counselor's clerks so you can make any corrections. And also, guys, we'd like to shout out that if you're interested in joining NHS, applications are available for next year in either in D118 and with Ms. Chavez or in Mr. Luna's room in A212. All applications will be due February 28th at 4 p.m. We also like to shout our Lady Chiefs and Chiefs track varsity team. The girls got Natalie Soto, got sixth place in the shot put, scoring 90 feet and 9 inches, setting a personal record. Aileen Huerta got sixth place in the two mile run. Aileen Huerta, Roxanne Galvan, Jennifer Chacon, and Grease Juarez got second place in the two mile relay. Jesus Mora got sixth place in the two mile run. Brandon Hinera, Jesus Mora, George Ponce, and Gilberto Palomo got fifth place in the second mile relay. And Orlando Morales got fourth place in the pole vault. Way to go, guys. Keep up the great work. Are you guys ready? If anyone's interested in trying out either with the Veterans, Dancerettes, the Salcedo Showstoppers, or the John North Lovely Spirits, this is open to all 5th through 10th graders, whether guys and girls, guys. So you have any brothers and sisters interested in joining the dance team or even yourself, there will be a dance tr a free trial workshop at Don North High School Saturday, March 10th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Different things teaching you from anything from high kicks to leaps and turns, palm and jazz, and even a QA session. This is free, guys. If any more questions, talk to Ms. Cano in the dance room. Also, guys, if anyone, as you guys know, FC is having the first ever Dothra tournament and a fundraiser to the Gold Weekend of Champions, which is a Bible camp, guys. Tickets will be sold the week of, and this will be on March 9th in the big gym from 3 to 4, and it'll be $2 per student. But guys, we're looking for teams. It's the first come, first serve basis of 8 teams of 6 players, and it'll be $30 per team. It was sold pretty much $5 per person. You guys can get teacher sponsors. You can even have teachers in your team. So you want to be 3 students and 3 teachers, you guys are welcome, or an all-student team or all-teacher team. Um, just go out there guys, go by Mr. Nanis to pick up a form. Next Friday will be the last day to sign up. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Jonathan. Will you be on my team? Mm. Or can I be on your team? I'm, 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 con I'm, I'm considered a teacher. Mm. I don't know, Miss. I think you probably get, you get us out easily. You're ready. No, no, I don't think so. I wasn't involved in any kind of sports because I was always afraid of ball. So no, I will not be in the dodgeball tournament. But anyway, um, on a closing note, um, as you well know, last week there was a, a, a horrific shooting at a high school in Florida. And um, I want you all to know and I want you all to feel safe here at Donna North High School. But the way we need to feel safe is if you hear of anything, anyone mentioning any type of negative stuff that you see on Facebook in reference to anything like that, we need to know. Um, our main thing here at Donald North High School is first of, of course your education because that's what we're here for but amongst all that mix we have to secure your safety when you are here um, we've been having meetings I've been speaking to the police officers and so on and so forth to come up with you know better plans and I know we did have a lockdown held last uh, the beginning of or in the middle of January sometime and so we will be having another one we want to make sure that everybody knows you know that all systems are in place and that you know exactly what to do when we call for a lockdown so when there is a lockdown the teachers make sure that their doors are locked students you cannot be on your cell phones all lights need to be off teachers turn off the lights in your room go to a corner where because in, in some of the teachers rooms i mean they do have that little window right so make sure your door is locked make sure you're all off in the corner where if somebody's trying to look into the window they can't see anybody but if you turn on your cell phone they're going to see that light so make sure that you're off in a corner um, if you're caught in the hallway or in the bathroom during a lockdown especially if you're in the bathroom remove yourself from the bathroom and go to the closest area you know that that has like especially if you're here in this area go into the library and then you all can go into the library office that's a good secure area um if you're in the hall you go to the closest classroom that is that is that is there next to you don't run to your teacher's classroom you get into the classroom that's closest to you the teachers will allow you to come in um Teachers make sure that um, those of you that have your blinds to the outside, I mean, you have windows to the outside, your blinds are closed. Um, and, and things like that. Just make sure everything is super secure. 
Um, there are devices that we can buy that are online that we are looking into buying. So please make sure that um, you're safe at all times. Um, that that I would like to have a, a, a group of students that um, I'm going to be calling on and that are, you know, like maybe presidents or vice presidents, presidents of all the different groups of, of um, like, Organizations. Organizations, thank you, Jonathan, that we have here at Donna North so that we can have a, 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 a little coming together and, and, and meet so that you can talk to me and my administration and, and my counselors about what it is that you all need to see and, and, and hear so that you all can be safe because I you have to be safe while you're here. Um, we are very blessed that we have not had these situations, and but... We have to make sure that, let's say, God forbid, we're ready for a situation like that. And our hearts and our prayers go out to the students in Florida and in all the other schools that this horrible, horrific things have happened because um, we're all human and, and, and we all have a heart. And especially in education, while you are here, you all are our, our children. It's called in loco parentis, so God forbid that anything like that happen to our children, our children, our children, when you all are here, because um, we, we just want to make sure that you're safe. And um, so if you have any ideas, students, please, please feel free to come by. Like I said, I do want to get that uh, kind of like a principal's round table and speaking to you all about the, the different safety issues that you might see here on campus you know, um, that we need to know about so that you can feel safe while you're here. Other than that, it's always a good day to have a good day, and this is a great place to be. So while you're here, be safe and know that your best interest is held to the highest level here at Donna North High School. Again, thank you, and have a really good day.